Similar to in UI Online, employers with the appropriate access level will be able to add third-party administrator access to their account. Employers will be able to complete this action on their own through the Unemployment Services for Employers portal. We will review how employers will add this access in this video. It is important to note that all data in this video is fake and was created for the purpose of this demonstration. We are currently logged in as an employer. Whenever an employer logs in, they are defaulted to the summary screen. To begin adding additional access for a TPA, we will click the additional services hyperlink. Additional actions that can be taken by the employer are displayed. Today, we will focus on the access management panel. Depending on the access level of the web logon, the web logon may be able to add new access or change existing access, and they may be able to manage third-party administrator access. This is the action we want to take today, so we will click the Manage Third-Party Administrator Access hyperlink. When we do so, any current and historic TPA access is displayed. This particular employer has a historic TPA that no longer has access to their account. We know they no longer have access because a date is displayed in the Access N column. If a date is not displayed in the Access N column, it indicates that the TPA has current access. To begin adding a new third-party administrator, we will click the Add Third-Party Administrator hyperlink. When we do so, we are brought to the Manage Third-Party Administrator Access request. The first step explains the information we will need in order to complete the request. Today, we will need the agent ID of our third party administrator. To proceed, we will click the next button. In the next step, we must key in the agent ID, which I will do now. When we click the next button again, the system will verify that the TPA is actually registered with the Massachusetts Department of Unemployment Assistance. We'll go ahead and click the next button. Because we were able to proceed, we know that this TPA is registered. After entering the correct agent ID and proceeding, we must specify the account type the TPA will have access to. We will select the checkbox for the employer account because this particular TPA will be filing wage reports and making payments. As a reminder, two separate systems will be used between phase one and phase two. Phase one is focused on contribution and wage reports, and phase two will be focused on benefits information. If the TPA also needs access to perform benefit charge protests or wage and separation mailings, we will want to click the yes button for the next question. This is the case today, so we will click the yes button. Next, we must select the roles we want to grant access for. Again, these roles will provide the TPA with access to the benefits information that will live in UI Online until phase two of the new system. Today, we want this TPA to have both benefit charges view and protest and wage and separation mailing. So we will select both checkboxes. We will proceed by clicking the next button. Our final step is to review the request and submit. We are ready, so we will click the Submit button. A confirmation is displayed, letting us know that this particular request was successful. The TPA will now be able to review the access we submitted and add it to the appropriate logons. After the access is added for the logons, they will be able to file wage reports and make payments for this particular employer. This concludes the video on adding TPA access through the Unemployment Services for Employers portal as an employer.